Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network, and in today's clip, I want to share with you something very important on your personal path that you're going to have to deal with, and that is, how do you deal with toxic people? How do you block out the difficult, toxic people in your life that are trying to hold you back? Some people like to call them the haters. How do you deal with the haters? That's how modern like, people like to call it, but I call it toxic people. How do you deal with the toxic people? So let me give you a couple tips that when business people reach out to me for advice or students, these are some things I tell them, things I do as well. Number one, I actually have a list, literally. I'm not going to tell you if it's printed or not, it's personal business, but I literally have a list in my mind, at the minimum, of people that I consider to be toxic people or the negative people or the haters, and they're on my official ignore list, literally, number one. I consider their words to be human spam, okay? They do not come to the inbox of my life. They do not believe in you. These kind of people don't see your potential. They don't share your vision as to who you have the ability to become. And frankly, their only purpose in life vis-a-vis -vis you, as far as they're concerned, is spread negativity and hold you back and hold you down. So guess what? If that's what you're about, you're on a list. I have to know who you are, and you go to my mental spam category, okay? We're not reading what you're saying. We're not listening to it. You don't care about me. You don't share my vision. You don't believe in me. Why should you be part of it? So number one, how are you going to deal with the toxic people? How do you deal with the haters? Number one, got to identify who they are. Number two, they need to get their own list, which we had said. And when they say something or do something that seems to hurt you, don't let them get you off your game. Don't let them hijack your success. Don't let them throw you off your equilibrium, even if it happens to slip through there. Sometimes spam can make it through into your normal email. Block it out, and remember, don't let them throw you off your equilibrium. Number three, ask yourself this question. Why are they negative? Why are people being negative with me? Why are they negative and nasty? Either they're unhappy, or they're jealous, or they see that you're going places in life and they can't keep up with you. A lot of people who are successful find there's people like, you're doing too much, slow down, it's not necessary, why don't you be normal, a lot of people, and this is the mild stuff, okay, a lot of people who come out and are negative against you in life, you'll find it's because they recognize you're going places and they can't keep up with you. So what do they try to do? They try to slow you down or bring you down because otherwise your success is making them feel badly. So don't let these kind of people get you down. Nebuch, in about 20 years from now, a lot of these same people are still going to be negative, toxic, unhappy, and not any more successful than they are today. So don't pay attention to them. Don't take their words to heart because they're not going anywhere. Okay? That's very important. Number four. I like to say, and I said this to a Talmud of mine, a student of mine who called me last night talking about this very topic, which is why it's on my mind, and I want you to take this to heart very, very much, okay? And that is, you have to have goals that are so big in life, so big, so juicy, things that are so huge that you're going after, that these people and their negativity shrinks down by comparison. If your goals are big enough, they're huge. If you have big, juicy, exciting goals, things that you're pursuing, you don't have time to worry about them. I don't know about you. I can only hold one thought in my mind at a time. Only one thought at a time. That's what I got to focus on. And if I'm focusing on my goals and the future and what I'm trying to accomplish and it's big enough, if it's big enough, I'm taking actions that have to be huge to pull me in that direction. I have a chance to pull it off. I don't have time to deal with petty, negative, small people, okay? Don't worry about them. Keep your eye on the prize. Be positive, move forward, identify who these people are, block them out, and remember something that Frank Sinatra was reputed to have once said, and that is that the best revenge in life is massive success. And I wish for you that you should become so successful in whatever it is you want to do, so successful that these people who didn't believe in you, we don't want them to feel badly, but let it be that if they're going to spew negativity, let it be that every time they see you, hear of you, and hear your name, let them remember that how well you're doing and have reminders of your success everywhere they go. Hope that was helpful to you. Some helpful tips. If there's anything else you'd like to speak out with me on this subject, I hope you'll comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And let's connect. My email is director at jeln.org. It's Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman. Hope you enjoyed today's clip. And we will see you the next time. Thank you.